Privyet, this is Jonathan, and in this video I'm going to show you guys uh, me trying out for the very first time Helen OS. So Helen OS is kind of um, a retro operating system that looks something like Windows 97. I'm going to show you guys a screenshot of it over there, as you guys can see. It looks very old, it looks very retro y, as you guys can see. Um, it looks something like Windows 97. If I ever click on the start menu, we can click one of these applications you want. And then over there, it just shows up all of the applications that are open. So it's a very basic um, look of it. Instead of using the icons like you would do on Linux or Mac OS or um, Windows or FreeBSD, um, it doesn't show any icons, it shows up only text, which makes it even more simple. Um, I'm not really a big fan of this. I would like some form of icons added to it, maybe next to the actual application name. Um, because sometimes it's very nice to have icons. I prefer icons over text, but I'm but I'm not from this time. <laughs> I'm kind of used to a lot of a more modern operating systems like Windows Seven and all of that. I'm not really used to like Windows ninety seven. But if you guys were from there, it probably would look something quite similar, and it probably worked quite similar as well. Um, Helen OS is a portable micro kernel based multi server operating system designed and implemented from scratch so it was it's not it's not based on linux it's not based on freebsd it's not based on windows obviously because that's against the law we cannot be based on windows but we can be based off linux it can be based off um freebsd on that and it, de it decompasses key operating system functionality such as file systems networking device drivers and a graphical user interface into a collection of finds Drained user space components that interact with each other via a message passing. A failure or a crash of one component does not directly harm others. Pretty nice, it does Windows though. <laughs> Helen OS is therefore flexible and vertical um, extendable, fault tolerant, and easy to understand. Um, Helen OS aims to be compatible with the uh, C11 and C14 standards, but does not aspire to be a clone of any existing operating systems and trace compatibility with most legacy APIs for clear design. Um, over here it talks about um, all of the um, other chapters that process other chapters that can run on. So for example, ARM, 32 bit and 64 bits desktops. Everywhere at this point probably uses 64 bit. But if you still use 32 bit, we can still install a small PC. Do I recommend it? Maybe if you have a server, but there's not really much to it. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the Helen OS right now. So I'm going to click on the start button, but before I do so, I have to show you guys something. We need to go down to settings, go into the display and make sure that the video memory is all the way up. Otherwise, um, we may have some issues with performance and things may not be as fast as we want it to be. So make sure that the video memory is all the way up. We're not allowed to enable 3 d alteration because from my experience, it does freeze the desktop. So make sure that's disabled. I mean, it was just a one-time thing, but I'm not gonna enable it for in case if it's not just a one-time thing. But yeah, um, you guys can try it out yourself and see if 3 d alteration would work. But make sure that the video memory is all the way at the top. Otherwise, it won't work properly. Close out that bad boy. I'm going to click on the start button and we can try out Helen OS. Ooh, so exciting. Okay, we're in GNU Grub. It's something quite similar to Linux. Just depends on the enter key. It takes like literally five seconds to boot up. Um, ignore these error messages. They're not that critical. Awesome, now we have the operating system, right? Um, Helen OS release 0.12.1, Kate Road, Fear of Revision. Um, okay, cool. So, this is basically your terminal, as you guys would have um, got on the Linux as well as Windows, got um, PowerShell and all that. Um, I don't know if it's still loading or not. I think it might have glitched out actually. Hold on, let me try to reset. Um,
you may experience some glitches and some crashes and stuff with this um, operating system um, it's not really the greatest thing okay I'm back in now and my mouse point is right over there um, okay so what you can now do is interact with the terminal and all to do so all you do is just type down some commands so we're going to do ls and that should list out all of the um, everything that's within for directory that we're in I think we are in the desktop directory or the uh, main directory that we start off at within the operating system. You guys can also do CD and that will take you to a directory. So for example, I can do CD app and that will should take you to the application directory. And that should let out, list out everything that's within the application directory, as you guys can see. So here we've got um, the terminal, we've got taskbar, we've got sys information, we also got the PCI, we also got Tetris. At least there's one game on here, right? <laughs> it's always better than having no games. Um, yeah. But I'm going to close out of the terminal because it's going to be a very basic basic video. Okay, let me close out that bad boy. Cool. So right over there, I guess, is the launcher. Um, I'm dragging it. Okay, cool. So we guys can open up these applications. So you can click on to navigation, navigator, text editor, terminal, and we can click on to calculator. Oh, click on to calculator. Ooh, that's quite an odd looking. Nine times by nine. What does that give you? Um. Okay, I want to find out what the answer is, please. Okay, I think that's not right. Hold on, let me try again. But I'll try a simple one. I'll do 2 pi plus by 2, just to confirm that it's correct. Um, it's a bit laggy. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, as you guys can see. So the cal calculator software is working just fine. It's a very basic calculator though. We guys can also open up the text editor and then from here we guys should be able to type down any words that we want. So for example we can put down that Microsoft is trash and Linux is always better. One thousand, one trillion actually, trillion percent. Correct. <laughs> uh, that's my opinion. Please don't hate. No, please don't hate comments. Okay, now click on to file. Right over there. Well, that's edit. Sorry, my mouse is really a bit slow on this. System. So I'm dragging it now. I don't want to drag it. Um, I'm gonna have to drag it again. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm gonna click on to file. save as I'm gonna call this one um, I love Linux and I guess you guys can just look at the files so if I do put that one into the boot okay I see you can just select which directory you want to save it to from here cool that's nice I'm gonna save it to the app directory because why the hell not um, I want to save it to the app directory please let me save it there yes now I click on to OK and hopefully it has saved it. Uh, and then you guys can do file. And I guess you can open this if you really wanted to. Would it be an edit? No, we can copy and paste and delete stuff. What about in search? What can we do in search? Okay, I guess you can find where the word is or where the character is. And you guys can update that row of characters. Um, you guys can also do file. We can do file, save as, and save. There's not really actually any option to open it. I guess the only way you could open it is by clicking on the navigator, which I do believe is the um, is the yeah file system. If I click onto the app, right? I love Linux. If I reopen that, does that open up to the text document? Is it? Um, okay. I guess it doesn't. So I don't know how we'll be able to view all the full um, text documents. Okay. Um, I don't know why it keeps dragging it. I'm not even doing anything to the mouse. Um, 
Just let go. Let go. Okay, I'm gonna try to exit. Um, exit. So I guess it's like meant to be like a very simple file um, manager. We'll be able to open up all of our files. We'll be able to open up all of our text uh, files. I tried to do that, but it didn't work. But it's meant to be a very simple way to navigate around the system and be able to open up applications and open up all of the files that you guys want. So we tried out Navigator. We tried out the text editor. We tried out a bit of the terminal. We tried out the calculator. But we haven't tried out the UI demo. So I don't know what that is. It's meant to be like a demo. Okay, cool. So text table, read only left, center. Oh god, I can't use my mouse to scroll down. This is a scroll bar. Oh, it's meant to show the actual UI of how actually the other thing will look. From the buttons, how that looks, from the actual being able to select some of that options. How this scroll bar looks, how this OK button looks, how this cancel button looks how um, the text entry box looks and so on which is that doesn't show anything yeah it's, I don't know why they have that if it doesn't do anything what about for edit okay what about file I'm gonna just close out this I mean it's just to show how the system actually looks from the buttons to the scroll bar I right know and be like a very basic um, UI demonstration. You guys can also click onto the GFX demo, which I don't know what that does. Okay, I see it's just graphics, I guess. And that's pretty cool. I'm gonna close out of it now. Bitmap rendering with offset. Okay, that's pretty nice. Um, I'm going to try to exit from this. Hold on, hold on, hold on in a second. Oh, okay, um, for Fox, the band Fox jumps uh, for Lazy Dog. I'm going to close out of this. Cool. Now, where do I go and play some Tetris? Can I do that? I saw Tetris in the applications area. Do I have to open up with a terminal? Um, press enter for a few survival tips. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, basically, um, I don't quite know how I would be able to open up the application because I'm kind of new to the system. Um, it's a bit laggy though. I did turn up for video memory high, so I don't know why it's a bit laggy. Um, and why I wasn't able to open up that text document that I've created. Um, I'm trying to find out how to be able to get the application, and maybe we can do check Tetris. Hold on, LS. Um, I see it. So it's Tetris, right? Yes, now we can open up Tetris. Like so. Okay, that's pretty easy to do. Um, so J to go to the left, J K to rotate, and I to go to the left. Space to drop, um, pause, and all that. Okay, so how do I start the game? S to start the game. Okay, S. Okay, um... Oh, I see this. How to rotate? Oh, I see. I see. I see. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I see. Okay. How to? Okay. Cool. I don't know. Okay, I messed that one up. <laughs> but to, to be honest, running this in the terminal, like with this kind of cool graphics, is pretty nice. I'm gonna just put this one right over there. Why not? And this one, what I could do is just put that one over, way over there. Cool. I'm trying to understand how to play this game. Okay. Cool. So I'm gonna go all the way down. Um, I don't want to go that way. Okay, cool. Now I can put it right over there. Um, I haven't played Tetris in a long, long time, so I might not be the greatest at the game. But, um, I mean, nobody plays Tetris, so let's all be honest. JJJ. You guys can also rotate it. I like to rotate it, to be honest. Yes, yes, yes. I can go all the way down, I guess, faster. I don't know. But yeah, we, it basically it's a very simple treacherous game where I'll be able to do that. Not that bad. But now I'm going to stack everything on top of each other because I don't want to waste more of a guy's time just watching me play Tetris. I think it's very boring to see me doing that.
but yeah, this is a very simple Tetris game which was created in the 1990s. Um, yeah, insert two player in the name. Um, okay, we like now we can enter your name, so we can put down um, Jonathan Jonathan Stedman. Um, okay, there's the limitation on how many characters you can put down. All right, that's fine. Let's want to the enter key Tetris. Awesome, and I can click onto Q and to exit. We have many more applications available that you guys can try out. Um, I love Linux. Maybe if I do, hold on. I love Linux. Okay, this is not. Um, okay, what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to try to open up the um, taskbar. Maybe that does anything cool. Okay, no, that just reloads the taskbar. Um, sysinfo. Hold on, I want to go back there. Sysinfo. What does that do? Okay, it gives you the system information. So that's pretty nice. And using for scroll bar, obviously, um, goes back to a previous command that we have done. Um, okay, that's pretty nice. I was rather hoping to scroll to scroll up though, <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> um, Kestar terminal. We've got task dump. We got system information. We got PKG. Always PKG. Is that the um, installer? Okay, so we can install some Ulysses. Install Firefox. Maybe if we can do that. I uh, know, maybe not. It's quite. I don't know if it, Firefox would be available. Um, cool. I'm gonna go back to the LS. Um, what you guys can also do is do viewer, which is viewer. I think I want that one wrong. No, no minute trial specified. Okay, to, so I guess it's to use to um, um, open up images. What guys can also do Wi Fi supplement, which I don't know what that is, and I don't want to mess around with that. Terminal, ta system info, sys inst, task var, task dump, um, task runner, test write, tetris, t num, top, what's top do? Okay, this shows up all of the resources that's running in the background. Um, PC cycles, idle. Okay, if you guys are not very technical with computers, you guys probably won't understand what it's showing over here. But it's basically to show guys um, how much resources that everything is using up. Of the CPU resources, that is, because it talks about threads, um, cycles. So it's related to CPU and how many things are running, um, how many stuff is sleeping and all of that 70 total 72 threads in total so this is related to the um to the actual um to the actual cpu and the processes that's running in the background so it's a very uh, technical way of showing that information so i'm just going to close out of that um because that's basically the operating system um, so it does have a very simple launcher. I don't know how we'll be able to get the start button at the bottom to the taskbar. Um, hold on, I'm going to kind of exit from here. So that's a pretty nice operating system. It looks very nice as well. It's a bit buggy and a bit slow, I would have to say, because it's still going down. But the mouse is still going down. But yeah, it's a, it's a bit laggy. But maybe because I'm running this inside a photo machine and it wasn't optimized to run at the photo machine. But it, the way it looks and the way it works is very simple. Um, it is a very simple operating system with um, with not much pre-installed. Yes, yeah, so we do have a few games like Tetris and maybe we might have many more, but um, it's quite limited on what you guys can do with the system. Um, we don't have a web browser built in. I don't know if you guys can install a web browser. I'm kind of new to Helen OS and I really want to play around with it even more. I will do videos about how to use some utilities in Helen OS, but yeah, this is a very simple video just to show, just to um, just to show guys my experience of using it for the very first time. If you guys like this video, please put a like and please subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.